Wet Wet Shavers and YouTubers everywhere. It's MarvetGeorgeTune.com. Merry Shave Mask, everyone. It's day nine in the 12 Shades of Christmas featuring the Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar. We're going to open up door number nine and see what we're shaving with. So here it is right here. Door number nine right there. Let's open it up and let's see what we're shaving with. Right here. Now punch this open. There it is right there. I'm gonna open that up. Ooh, hey, this one looks neat. It looks like a, a robot or a mechanical man or something like that. Hang on one minute, let me set that down like that. We got the information, we got the, the shave soap and the aftershave, and what a we oh, oh <laughs> I like this one already. Han Polo. <laughs> That's a great name. Uh, first released in 2016. Absolutely. Okay, that's the that's the aftershave there. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Nothing spilled. All right, Han Polo, first released in 2016. Right there. Let's get another look at that. And we're going to put that on screen so you can read along. Uh, again, it says here, Han Polo, first released 2016. Scent profile, sharp, woody, and arid, leather, wood, tobacco, basil, and oak moss. Our original name for this homage to Polo Green was Steeplechase. Lordy, I remember that release. It was the end of November and the holidays were just starting to hit hard. We had Christmas Elvis. <laughs> we had Christmas Elvis on the shop boombox and the air was filled with the memorable green woodsy scent of Polo. It was a bit surreal for sure. And there was Nog. <laughs> Uh, we only offered this fragrance for a short time, but not long after, we discontinued it. I do recall the, um, what I can only describe as an aggressive write-in campaign. Clearly, the shave cadets, like myself, had a real connection to this nostalgic stuff. So here it is. Now, can we have our cat back? <laughs> Enjoy this ghost of memorable times past. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to let you get a look at the artwork right here. Check out that artwork again. <laughs> that's great. I love that. I love that artwork a lot. Han Polo. Okay, let's get let's get a, uh, uh, a sample of the scent. Oh, that's marvelous. Yeah, that is really, really marvelous. Uh, yeah, there there is yeah, it is sharp, woody. I get the woody. I get the tobacco. I get a little bit of the. I get a little bit of the leather. Yeah, yeah, that is. Yeah, perfectly describes it. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Han Polo, right there. Let's get to the shave den. Let's have a shave. There it is, Han Polo. Love the name, and I really, really love the scent. Oh yeah, that is terrific. Now the scent profile again, sharp, woody and arid, leather, wood, tobacco, basil, and oak moss. And I'm getting all of that folded together very, very well. Nicely balanced. Yeah, looking forward to using this one. We're going to have an evening head shave with Han Polo. So that means I'm not going to need this. All right, we're all set to go then. Uh, you know what? I've got my, uh, one more time, I got my John Thumb. I'm really enjoying using this. I got my John Thumb 30 ounce uh, lathering bowl here with the lather disc in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump that water in there. And uh, we're going to get some of this uh, shave soap right here. Okay, well, where's my guitar pick? My guitar pick is right here, my Phoenix Shaving guitar pick. And uh, I'm going to get some right there, about that much, okay? And let me just set that in there. I'm going to put the cap back on. Love that artwork. Really love that artwork a lot. Uh, I'm going to just scrape that in there, just and mash it down. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'll show that to you in a minute. Let me just mash it down. Let me wipe this off here like this. Okay, there it is right there. All right, that's it right there. Uh, let me get my shaving brush. I'm using my uh, Phoenix Shaving Phantom Aerolite shaving brush right here. So let me just get a little bit of water out of there and let's start building that lather. Yeah, it's, I believe it's a 26 millimeter knot, which is why I'm using it because I'm 
I'm gonna make a ladder for a head shave. You can see right there how it's how it's going. I need some more water. And uh, there's a lot of real estate in here. Now, I notice that when I'm holding it like this, I'm, I'm not clanging the brush at all. It's only when I'm holding it up like this, hear that? When I'm trying to show it on camera that I get out of balance. So that's the reason why it's, it's clanging just a little bit. It's a little bit of operator error trying to hold it up to the camera to show you what's going on. Again, I thought this 30 ounce bowl was going to be a little too large, but I'm able to hold it. Now, if you have smaller hands, maybe not so much. They do make a 20 millimeter size of the, uh, this lathering bowl with different logos and that sort of thing on the side of it. Um, but the lather disc is not available for a 20 ounce uh, shave bowl. Only the 30 ounce, which is why I bought the 30 ounce. And I'm loving it. I really am. It's, it makes heaps and heaps of lather. The only thing is, you have to, you know, when you look at it, you go, gee, there's that much lather there. There is a lot of lather there because you're looking into a, <laughs> a larger lathering bowl, a larger shave bowl. And this lather disc that has this nice pebbled surface creates a lot of great resistance to enable you to make a lot of really, really wonderful, wonderful boom lather. Check that out, huh? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. All right, we're all set to go with the lather. Uh, so what we want to do now is we want to... Um, Wet the head and do a pre-shave lather with the Cube 2.0. So let me just put a little water on my head. Just a little bit. All right, and here's the Cube 2.0. It's getting smaller. This is the mentholated version. So I like the mentholated version. I really do. I have the regular version, and I'm using the mentholated version more often, which is why it's smaller. It's getting smaller. Okay, there we go. All right, let me just I eh, wipe that away a little bit. There we go. Okay, we're all set. Let me just rinse my hands off a little bit. I got a towel to wipe my hands off. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and let's paint on some. Look at that. Look at that. I only have about uh, two days worth of beard growth. Uh, this is, I'm on an every other day uh, head shave schedule. So well, my last uh, head shave wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. So there is not a lot of hair growth there. When I start to get into the area of three to four days worth of hair growth, it's a little more difficult to lay the lather down because there's a little more hair, hair growth there with which to uh, saturate it, saturate, saturate that hair growth with the lather is what I'm trying to say. But this lathers rather quickly. And I think, I think, you know, I mean, every other day seems to work for me, but I think I'd like to try every day. Maybe do an, every, maybe do an evening head shave every day. I think that would work for me. I would probably like that. But every other day seems to work for me as well. All right. Get rid of that. All right, that's got it. I got, again, I got plenty of lather there. Don't let that fool you. There's a lot of lather in there. I mean, look at that. A lot of lather there. My gosh. I mean, there's a lot there. All right. I'm going to set that down. My razor is going to be my Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor. I think this is like the, either the third or fourth shave with this blade. These blades are good for about six to eight shaves depending on your beer type your skin type that sort of thing i just want to just want to make sure my hands are are good and dry because you know what let me get the allen block and let me just run that under the water and let me just like that because that is a smooth handle so i'm gonna just run my hands over that allen block so it, it uh, creates a little, yeah, oh yeah, that's good. All right, let me go ahead and heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. This is not 30 degrees, this is a 15 degree approach with the uh, Supply SE injector razor, single edge injector razor. So here we go, 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Now, while I was talking to you, this scent is just Beautiful, just wonderful. 
it's 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 it gives me a really nice gentlemanly vibe. It's very refined, very very polished. A little bit of elegance there, a little bit of refinement. Uh, you wear this, people know you are a gentleman. Really, this is terrific. And this was first released in 2016. If you've got the advent calendar and you use it today, let me know what you think of this scent. I like this a lot. Man, it would be great if they brought this back. This is a nice one. This is great for an evening out. Believe you me, I like this a lot. This is, uh, Razor is my, my go-to for, uh, for head shaves. This, uh, Supply SE. This really, really does a nice job in giving me a nice, nice head shave. Really like using it. Okay, let me just, oh yeah, and then maybe over here a little bit. Plenty of blade exposure, even though there's a lot of lather there, look, that blade is still in play. It really is. Let me just throw a little more water up there, just a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Wipe off my hands, and we're going to just lay on some more lather here for Pass number two. Boy, that was good. That was quick. What a nice pass. And uh, usually I, I'm good for, usually my head shave is uh, two passes. I'm good for two passes and maybe a little touch up depending on the razor I'm using. I like to use razors that are on the milder side. And this SE, Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor, certainly does a nice job at being a mild, efficient razor that gives me a really terrific shave, whether I'm using it for my head or my face. I like it a lot. Uh, CK6 is just fantastic. The uh, the menthol is still in play here from the Cube 2.0, but this Polo scent is a good one. This is really, really nice. My goodness. I like this one a lot. Man, that's fantastic. All right, we're going to go... Uh, Back to front, uh, pass number two. And again, I'm holding a 15 degree angle. What's nice about the, uh, the Supply SE is I can, I can find that blade uh, very, very easily. Very, very easily. That's just really terrific how I'm able to find that blade angle. Even flying blind, I can just do it by feel. And it's just very, very easy. Very, very easy to find. And again, seems that when I do the top of my head, it's a little easier for me to go front to back. Okay. Thought I caught myself there. I did not. This has that Nick Stop technology, and that really works. But you know, I gotta lighten up a little bit when I do the uh, top of my head. The skin is a little thinner up there, and uh, yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought maybe just a, just for like an instant. I thought, ooh, nope, everything's fine. I think that is CK6 helping to protect the uh, the skin. Okay, so let's see where we're at. You know what? This is this is good. I don't think I need much of a touch up at all. Maybe a little bit. So I like to get a little bit of the uh, lather. Look how much a little bit. Look how much lather I got there. Amazing how much I got there. And I like to run it around and then do a little bit of touch up here and just a little bit here. Like that, and then where else? A little bit here, right there, maybe three or four spots. I want to make sure I I got here. This is really one of my favorite razors to do a head shave with because it's so efficient. It gets everything, uh, it gets the majority of everything on those first two passes. 
It just does a great job. And maybe, maybe just a little bit there. But I might be just, a, I might be just being a little fussy. All right, let me drain the sink and let me get a nice hot towel from the hot towel cabinet to do my warm water rinse like this. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's nice. And, that's a good hot towel. Okay, now this is a cold water rinse. I ran this towel under some cold water and we're just doing a cold water rinse like this. Oh, that's nice. That's terrific. That's marvelous. Oh, yeah. Viewers uh, gave me the idea of uh, doing the rinse of my head just using a, a towel like this. And uh, it works very, very well. It helps cut down on a lot of splashing from sticking my head underneath the faucet and splashing everything up, that sort of thing. All right. Uh, here's the Allen block, solid Allen block from Phoenix Shaving. And running under some cold water. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. Very smooth, cool as ice, couple of zings here and there, nothing really to write home about. Really terrific, 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 terrific head shave. Nice, smooth, close, comfortable, great scent from the Han Polo. Really, really terrific. All right, I'm going to take this. And put this back in the dry dock like that. Let the air in the room do the rest of the job and letting it uh, dry out. And I gotta, <laughs> I gotta attach the uh, no slip grip to it. But uh, ah, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Here, check out the uh, the remaining. Oh, look how much lather I have. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what I got there. I just went into the bowl. I got more in there. Look. I mean, just check out the size of the the sides of it there. I got so much more in there. I mean, fantastic, fantastic lathering bowl. I mean, a lot of real estate to make a to make a lather. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's finish it up with a Han Polo aftershave. Boy, this is. Uh, let me see here. That's a nice scent. Boy, that that is nice. This this is great for an evening out. This really is. Boy, oh boy, that's really wonderful. We're gonna be really really generous with that. Let's put it on my hands. Jimmy V method. <laughs> let, it, let the alcohol burn off a little bit. Let it kind of evaporate a little bit, so to speak. And now we'll apply the good stuff. Boy, oh boy, that is, that's a nice scent. That's got a really nice amplified scent. I can tell that even on my head, and you're usually in my face, I'm getting more of it through my nostrils. But even up here, I'm getting some great, great feedback. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm not getting any kind of a kick or zing from it or anything like that. Maybe applying it on my face would be a little different. It is on my head. But uh, yeah, a terrific, terrific scent. Really, really, really wonderful. And great head shave. Really, really terrific. This is a good one. Han Polo. I really like it a lot. Uh, I knew I was going to be in, some, in for something really, really special when I saw the artwork. I absolutely love the artwork. Absolutely love that. And uh, it's really, really a nice, nice scent. Uh, everything in the scent profile is spot on. Everything is folded in together very, very nicely. It's nice and balanced. Again, refined, gentlemanly, uh, really, really terrific. I like, I like this one a lot. So there you go. Uh, day nine of the 12 Shaves of Christmas uh, from the Phoenix Shaving Advent Calendar, Han Polo. This is a really, really good one. First release in 2016, uh, Enjoy the Ghost of Memorable Times Past. Boy, it would be great if they brought this one back because this is a really, really terrific scent. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Hey, we're gonna do it again tomorrow. So I'll see you again real soon.